My dear students, see the traditional methods given in the books. Why do you waste a lot of your time by using these traditional methods? There are some more scientific methods, easy methods, which I would like to explain. First, what you have to do is try to understand this question. He is asking us to write the mass in terms of time, velocity and angular momentum. Here, and he is asking us to find out the correct option. So what do you have to do? What is our traditional method explaining here? He is asking us to find out the mass in terms of time, velocity and angular momentum. The method which was previously used regularly is time is taken as power of A, power of B velocity and power of C as angular momentum. Solve by comparing the powers and waste a lot of your time which is very valuable. Then I am going to save a lot of your time because that is my mission. Even many intermissions will come, but I'm not forgetting my mission. Okay, so if any doubts are there, you can just subscribe to my channel, prescribe to your friends and describe the comments below. Let me discuss what is the method which I'm going to use so that you can solve the problem in a super simple way. What I'm going to do is I will take mass because you have to take mass and compare it in terms of time velocity and angular momentum. So mass, I'm going to write it as MVR by VR. I'm creating one new formula. VR by VR. What is MVR? Angular momentum. You might have listened about this angular momentum in chemistry. Angular momentum is quantized. MVR is equal to NH by 2 pi. It's very familiar. So this is called as angular momentum. So I am writing VR divided by VR because if you cancel this one again, you'll be getting mass. Then let us see what I'm going to write. So here, the simple thing I'm going to do is MVR I will convert into length because length is nothing but angular momentum here. The next step what I am going to do is velocity I will write as usual but I will take this radius which is considered as displacement or length I will write this displacement as velocity into time just change radius in terms of velocity into time your work is done 90% of the work is done so I am writing this as velocity into time radius I am replacing with velocity into time so mass length I will write like that only denominator becomes v square into t see what is there in the four options time is coming first velocity next angular momentum in the last so what I am going to do is time is first Take time in the denominator right in terms of power t power minus 1 and velocity in the denominator right in the numerator in terms of power of minus 2. And the last thing here is length. So length is in the numerator right as usual. As usual. So your correct option is D option I think. You can just see. So your correct option is D option. D option. Yeah. So D is going to be a correct option. How do you feel this method? Is it not saving your time? If it is so, then you just comment below if you want this type of questions. Or if you want the full lectures of this type, the total chapter in a single one shot video, then you can just go to the Play Store or description, download the app for Kurdin Academy, and learn new. Intro, very very uh, inventory methods or we can say out of box thinking or lateral thinking methods to understand physics in a different way in a different angle thank you very much thank you very much